do I start Cooks over Sutton Cooks? <laughs> right now, he's uh, he's struggled this year. Uh, I'm trying to find him here in the rankings. He's they're, they're facing the Las Vegas Raiders. And looking at the games that Brandon Cooks has played so far, he's finishes uh, wide receiver 14, wide receiver 27. But then all of the other finishes have been wide receiver 52 or worse. Okay. Uh, against Vegas, this is a middle of the road, you know, sort of thing. But here's the da- Davis Mills has not played well. That's the concern is that we haven't, we've seen, you know, 12 target games, 10 target games, seven, seven, six. Yeah, there have been fewer targets each week for Brandon Cooks. The usage is extremely disappointing. Now, maybe, you know, during the bye week, there's there, the Houston Texans are recollecting themselves and saying, you know, we need to get back to targeting Brandon Cooks more. Admittedly, the matchup against Shaq Griffin against Jacksonville, that was, I called that one, by the way, <laughs> that, that Brandon Cooks would have a real bust game. And um, that's why I'm ranked 10th out of over 200 fantasy analysts in wide receiver rankings um, that these wide receivers, you know, the wide receiver cornerback matchups do matter. And that previous production, you know, against these cornerbacks matter. And that's why I am uh, concerned about Sutton playing against Gardner sauce Gardner. He is a very tough matchup and uh, you know, but you have to consider that um, that Sutton, he is uh, consensus 16 right now. And I know he's coming off a bad game against the Chargers, but looking at literally every other game, 11, 7, 10, 11, 7 targets for Sutton. Now, I think what sways the scales for me in like making arguments for both sides is who's going to be the quarterback for Denver. If it's Russell Wilson, you're probably putting Sutton into your lineup. But if it's Brett Rippon, I mean... You, you, there's no way you're you're going to trust Brett Rippon to lead your wide receiver to fantasy good. That's just how it is. So I would play Cooks over Sutton, depending upon the outcome of Russell Wilson. Or if we hear that, you know, approaching the game, because Russ right now is officially questionable. If we know coming into like Sunday morning, we have a report that Russ is really struggling with that, L, that, that shoulder, that he's really having trouble, uh, you know, I would be listening very carefully to what is being said about Russell Wilson going into uh, the week seven matchup against the New York jets. So I do see that Gardner is a tough matchup, but I'm listening carefully to the reports of what's going to happen with Russell Wilson, because if Russ is struggling, we've seen, you know, bus games, but also Russ has been dealing with injuries so far this season. And like we've seen, Portland Sutton have wide receiver 15, wide receiver 20, wide receiver 18, wide receiver 30 weeks. So I'm not terribly worried about Sutton if Russ plays and, uh, you know, you hear reports, Russ is full go. Russ had the injection and doesn't expect anything to limit him. Okay, that's what we want to hear. 